as always, looking good, sounding good. Anyway, still here, chit-chatting with Marshanda. Uh, we had so much uh, fun in the last challenge. Let's challenge her again. Do you want, you want me to challenge her again? Yeah, it's your uh, turn. Yeah, I think I got something. I did. Wait, I'll just wait, Ooh. here. Don't go anywhere. Wait, where are you Please, going? Don't oh, go anywhere. Oh, okay. I have something for... You know your way around my house? Because no. <laughs> I can help you. <laughs> where is your library, Paul? Uh, yeah, it's right there next to the... Uh, next here? To the, All right, I got it. Next to the jacuzzi. It. I got it from my mama. Oh, what I is that? It from my mama. What happened to my fish? What did you do to my fish? You don't even realize that you have this. I, I, I knew I had a fish in a bowl, but I guess yeah. the fish is gone. Anyway. You know, do you want to know what happened to I your really fish? I really don't. <laughs> okay. Something okay. scary you know there. That, uh, Marshanda, uh -huh. she's, uh, she's, you, you're really into with poems. What? You write. Oh, poetry. yeah, yeah, poems. The poems, right? Totally. Oh, yeah, the poems. Since I was nine oh. years old. Wow. Yeah, so she is the person who likes to write a poetry. Oh my god, I know what's gonna happen. I know what's gonna happen. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> now we would like to challenge you to arrange sentence uh, from the following words. Okay. There's nothing. Okay, let me oh, no. see. No, There's no. just like one paper. Uh, sure. Home. Home. Okay. So how many lines do you need? Um, four. All right. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Cool. Home. I thought. For the rest of my life, I would need to roam. So I went, I traveled the world, but then again, I realized something was gone. And when I went back, God told me, you don't need to find home. Because you, you are your home. Aww. Well, okay, yeah, so you didn't... that's very you, emotional. You, yeah. Uh, I'm, hey, I'm a bit like that. <laughs> and you didn't, you actually created like a whole, like that's, that it's whole like thing makes sense. Right. Like if I was going to create poetry on the fly, I could probably make a couple words rhyme, but I don't think I could tell a story with it, right? She, so, she did. Yeah, she did. Top of the dome, I like that. All right, let's yeah. do another. Okay. okay, second. Yep. So how many words? No, if you see Betty in there, just let me know and I uh, think only put her three. in a, some water. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. This second one, ha! Huh. Support. Support. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Okay. You thought I need support, but I lied to you. You thought I need your words, but I don't need them too. I fly by myself, got my wings, got my elves. You thought I need support? I got someone better than you. When you thought you're more superior than God, you're doomed. But no matter what, me and you, we are both supported always by God. Oh. Wow, who's that directed to? That's nice. <laughs> I don't know, just channeling nice. something. Very nice, very nice. All right. Even support. your negative, Perfect. like if you want to have a negative I was trying kind to of channel theme to Eminem. it, but then <laughs> yeah. oh. is this is something that you do. Is it? It's. it's a lot, so I know some people that actually write poetry because it's, they find it therapeutic. You do the same too. Yes, yeah. that's one of like how I developed uh, my own coping. Right. Like when I was little, I used to go to the roof of my house mm. and just sit there alone. And then one day, I just I forgot when it was. I think I was nine or something. I would just write things down. Yeah, and it just flow from there. Right. You yeah. still you keep all that stuff? Oh my God! I have the file since 2009, <laughs> but before the, uh, 2006. Right. Written mm. the books and on computer on my phone everywhere. Awesome. So nice. listen, um, you have a lot of followers on Instagram, and if you open your Instagram page, you use the word mother to describe yourself, right? Is that correct? Okay. So tell us about what it. It's like your journey, and we got a little glimpse of it earlier yeah. when we asked you uh, about your daughter, but mm -hmm. what has your journey personally been like as a mother? Uh, it, it's, it goes way back, even before I uh, birthed my daughter, Sienna. Actually, the first time I felt like a mother, I never told this to my sister over there, mm. but the first time I felt like I was born as a mother, mm is when I experienced the birth of my brother and my sister, my younger brother and my younger sister. Wow. Like in a soul, 
right. realm. I feel like my role is to be their mother right. in my heart. And I don't know, it's just like in my blood. I don't know. Yeah, no, I, I feel it's like my daughter me. does the same thing. Like with my, my daughter, child. My daughter is totally motherly. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was going to say. Oh, okay. You can see it when they're young already. Like taking care of like her younger brother as if she's Taking the care of yeah. the uh, siblings. Nice. Yeah. So in your opinion, what kind of mother you are? Or how you describe yourself as a mother? I'm a mother who learned the balance between guiding my daughter how to do life. <laughs> yeah. And so the balance of that and surrendering to God as in, you know, a most many mothers feel like they own their ch children's life right. as yeah. if yeah. like, I'm the best rescuer for my children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that kind of mentality for me you forgot God is more superior than any one of, of us. Course. Even though our children came out from our bodies, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that their journey are ours. Right. Yeah. So I'm the kind of mother who's in in the middle, like going right and left, back and forth between when should I guide her? Mm -hmm. When should I trust when her? Should you back off? As yeah, well, and right? I trust her. And the more that I trust her and I, sh and I sh appreciate her, the more she gives me evidence that she is super brilliant, super excellent, super protected by God, I swear. Yeah, yeah. I, I totally agree because sometimes if you're too overbearing, they call it have a helicopter parents. Exactly. If you're too overbearing on your child, you'll never let them develop and then you'll never know what they're actually capable of, right? Yeah. You gotta give them a little bit of leeway. So if I gave you a scale of one to 10, how would you rate yourself as a mom? Um, this could be different for Sienna because many mothers like me mm. might feel like must, I think it's not might, must feel like they, they, they definitely will feel like me as a mother, I'm doing my best for my children. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And we are doing our best. I'm a 10. Mm. Every nice. mother should, cool. should feel that way. But yes. Love that. when you listen to the child, you, that's when you have to uh, be introspective. Because yeah. when they say you're a five, that means something's wrong with your communication. Okay. Right. Because you love them, but they don't get it. Mm. The, the message got like, stuck somewhere, somewhere on the yes. road. Right. right. So we learn there. We develop our, we change the way we love them. Yep. We speak to them. We change the way we appreciate them yep. and stuff. And she's very lucky as well, by the way, because you had her while you were quite young. Like I, I, I had my first kid when I was 40. It's so cool that you're able to connect and uh, at least like, I don't know, when, you, when she gets older and, and teenage years and stuff, yeah. it's like, you're, you're the mom. Like. She is very mature. And, <laughs> and of course, because she's the mother. Right, exactly. I mean, it, yeah, you know, every mother is one the best for their kids. Yeah. And it's so good that you are labeling yourself in a scale of yeah. 10. Yeah. So listen, um, you, you've thorough. been through, you, you always share, you know, I'm glad we're lucky that you're always very transparent in right. how you feel and the Thank stuff you. that you're going through, whether it's <laughs> ups, whether it's downs, because everybody likes to share when they're up, of especially course. on social media. Yeah. But nobody really shares when, you know, they're the dark time. Exactly. And how are we ever gonna learn about each other if we don't, right? And sure. um, you must have advice for people, especially since you've started this course as well, <clears> for people who are currently going through what you had gone through in the past. Everyone's hit a low point and sometimes, and most of us don't know where to turn. What do you suggest and what do you have to say to people that are currently going through those dark days that you've been through before? All right, before I answer that, can I say thank you for your team for making this curated, beautiful questions and you, your heart. Of course. Because it's not like people, many people doesn't appreciate transparency. Not everyone understands mm. my vision. Mm. When I show people my lowest points, like, a lot of people lose trust on me and mm. stuff like that, but you're in that, you know, we're like in the frequency where we appreciate transparency. So I'm grateful to be here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for I'm inviting sure. me. <laughs> <laughs> so the answer is the message for people who felt like uh, me in the past when I felt lost. Yes. The message is there are, you're not, number one, you're never alone. Number two, this is the, the era of social media and um, YouTube channels and mm -hmm. stuff like that. That's how you feed your head and your heart and your soul. So whoever you subscribe to, whatever accounts you follow, make sure they feed you, with, feed you love, transparency, vulnerability, but also inspiration, strength. Mm -hmm. Curate what nutrition, uh, meaning information, mm -hmm. that goes into your brain, into your heart. Curate them to take care of your well-being. 
The last one is you cannot heal what you don't want to feel. That's nice. So if there's something painful in your past, if you don't want to repeat those that cycle to your future generations, mm -hmm. you gotta cut it where you are by feeling the pain and it's seriously uncomfortable. Yes, very it's much. It's scary. It's easier to not yeah. do. But if you care about your children, right. it's mandatory, so it depends. So it's true what ready. they say, right? You can't get over something unless you truly face it. True. And the, and the way is through. And the right. only way through it is through. Like there's no like right. you cannot move. This right, way, you can't get way. around no. it. You right. cannot bypass Every it. Process really is right in. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Thank wow. you so much for sharing with us. Such, a, great, such a pleasure <laughs> to have you here. Yeah, Thank such you. positive vibes. I really love exactly. catching up with you again. It's been so long. Anyway, it's great to see you. We get, we, all, we gotta do. We gotta hug it up. We're wearing, we're wearing masks. It's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so Thank much you. for sharing so your happy. stories with us and uh, your such inspiration. Such empowering session with yeah. her. And you definitely serve to inspire and motivate more. So yes. I hope that your project, your new project, right. continues to do well because I'm sure so many more people are going to be interested in what you have to say about the stuff you've gone through yeah. and the stuff that you can share with others that can find help out of it. Well, thank you so much, guys, <laughs> for uh, tuning into this episode of Buddy Talk with the one and only Mershanda and Stray. He's here somewhere. There you go, oh, guys. There you Stray go. has fallen asleep, so we're going to say goodbye on his behalf. And there again. He is, there he is. Anyway, thank you to B-Boy and the Buzz. Goodbye. We'll let them close things out. But we'll see you all next time. Shafir, any last thank words? Thank you, Paul. Of course. Thank you for always opening your house for me. Oh, well, you so just walked right in anyway. So. Coming, <laughs> dancing. And once again, thank you so much. Yes. Ajah. My pleasure. Wait, I'm inspired wait. by Stray. We need more so role zen. model like yeah. her. Yeah. You know? We need more Amen. role model like her. Thank you. Right. Okay? It's okay. Just be vulnerable. Be true to yourself, guys. Come on. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Love you. Tune in again next time. See ya. Bye. Love you all. Bring us home. Let's dance. No?